All right, the court's going to call, the uh, first case the court's going to call is Baxter County Criminal Case CR 2016-418, uh, State of Arkansas versus Joshua Birmingham. This is a matter that's set, potentially set for revocation here today. Mr. Birmingham, uh, you're before the court on a petition to revoke. That petition to revoke was filed September 21st. 2018. In that petition, it alleges that you have, um, you have committed several violations of the terms and conditions of probation. Primarily, there are three separate allegations of violation of the law, and uh, uh, that it's alleged in September of 2017, and then again in uh, July and September of 2018 that you were arrested uh, on charges uh, involving public intoxication uh, and then there's a failure to report alleged for September of 2018. All of those are the allegations contained in the petition. Have you made any, rep any uh, arrangements to be represented by an attorney? Uh, no, I have not. Okay. Um, the, the you know, revocation proceeding, you have the same constitutional right to be represented by an attorney you have, you, know, you had in a normally filed criminal charge, uh, and that, that means you have the right to uh, go out and hire the attorney of your choice, at which point the court doesn't get involved in any way in, uh, uh, in your, your decision to hire private counsel. And with respect to, um, uh, but if in the process of trying to hire counsel, uh, you discover that you cannot afford to hire counsel, then you still have the right to be represented by an attorney. At that point, it becomes important uh, that, you, that you notify the court and try to seek uh, appointed counsel. The way you seek appointed counsel is you have to contact the public defender's office, obtain, an, obtain a uh, an application for the services of the public defender's office, fill that out, sign it, and turn it back into the public defender's office. If you're in jail, the, those applications are available there at the jail. You ask the jailer for one, fill it out, sign it, and turn it in. It will get to the public defender's office, and the public defender's office will see that it gets in front of a judge for a decision on whether you, you get appointed counsel. So that's, that's the process for you to secure counsel either by private hire or by uh, applying to the public defender's office. Now, having said all that, uh, on the charges that I read off in your petition to revoke, uh, how do you now plead? Uh, not guilty. I'm noting your plea here uh, today. This matter is on the Division Four docket for revocation hearing. This shows the warrant was served on November 8th. I'm going to set this matter down for hearing on November 29th. That, uh, that matter will be set. So it's essential that you act promptly to secure counsel so that the counsel can get prepared and be ready for uh, your hearing uh, on November 29th. Do you have any further questions? No. All right. You may be excused then, sir. Calling uh, 2018-114, State of Arkansas versus Benjamin Brabone. You know, I think that uh, Mr. Braben is on the court's docket for trial in January. He is. He's set for trial the week of January 7th. Um, Your Honor, in speaking with him yesterday, uh, and he can announce if, if he has changed his mind, but in talking with him, and I believe that it's his desire uh, to announce to the court today that, that he is waiving his right to a jury trial and he would like to proceed uh, to a trial, uh, but he would like that to be to the bench only. Is that accurate, Benjamin? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. 
just based on what I know already, the, the date that I might normally set it for would be that, uh, that uh, November 29th date, but I believe that date is so crowded at this point it would be impossible to fit a, a non-jury trial in. Um, I, can, I can look for another date. Uh, but uh, we'll 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 have we'll, for right now. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it set on January seventh uh, uh, that week. But what I, what I uh, but I think we all need to look at and and see how we can fit it into the schedule to try to get it done uh, either uh, between now and the end of November or uh, into. Uh, the first week of December uh, is a possibility, but uh, you know, uh, at this point that that week's booked up, but uh, it may resolve itself. So uh, let's let's look for another day to try to get it uh, to get it heard as soon as possible. Your Honor, we'll prepare the the proper uh, uh, paperwork, uh, the waiver of jury trial, and I'll uh, then I'll be able to see you at the jail and go over that with you. All right. Very well. Is there any way I can get a bond reduction? I, I, right at the moment, let me let me check and see where we are. I, haven't I ruled on bond before? I think I have. I think you have also, Your Honor. There's an FTA in this case. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, I was unaware of the date. Just looking back. <laughs> This case was set for trial in August. The, the defense requested a continuance till September. It was set for trial September 17th, and, uh, and the, uh, the defendant failed to show. Uh, alias warrant had to issue. I'm just trying to see where we got it set. Uh, Are you set it on? He wasn't arrested until October. And our, Mr. Braben lives in Horseshoe Bend. Mm -hmm. And what he has told me when I visited with him is that, that he was here for the start of the trial. His confusion was that he was not here on the Thursday prior, uh, whatever date that would have been in September. Uh, but that he did come to Mountain Home for the trial uh, on that Monday. Um, but it wasn't, it was already too late. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think the problem was that, that we'd had no uh, contact with your attorney uh, immediately prior to the case, so that... Uh, That's not true. Well, I, any, in any case, uh, I, well, there was a date in September that you failed to appear in court uh, and the court issued an alias warrant. You know, that's what I was attempting to explain. That uh, he actually, particularly uh, by phone, he had stayed in good contact with me, and uh, he did not appear on the Thursday. Prior to that, he has stated to me that he was confused on his dates and that he felt like that he only needed to show up on the Monday that it was set for jury trial. And I think I've stated That's that correct. accurately. That's correct, Mark. No. Obviously, the court was not aware that he, he uh, planned to show up. Uh, I, called, I called Mark and I called the bondsman. Yeah. On the 13th, of September the Thursday before when I called the case you were a no-show and the court didn't have any information uh, that you were going to show uh, and rather than bring a jury in when when uh, uh, I didn't have any reason to believe you were going to show up because you hadn't appeared on the 13th uh, as ordered uh, the court uh, at that point uh, issued the alias warrant, and that was not served on you until a date in October. So, uh, uh, anyway, that's the circumstances. Um, 
I don't know what to, I think that that's why we held we, we or the court ordered that you be held without bond so that we would have communication with you uh, for this next trial date now um, what what is the state recommending on here's bond here, here's a second. You know, the, the court on October 18th re I set the bond at twenty thousand dollars I don't know what would have changed in his situation since that time. The state believes that based on his failure to appear the first time uh, and the nature of the charges, that bond's appropriate, Your Honor. Your Honor, I know that it is not an argument on the part of a defendant that he cannot make bond. Uh, however, this is a, a gentleman that... Uh, as I stated earlier, he does live in Horseshoe Bend. He does have a residence. He does have uh, transportation to and from the court. Uh, Your Honor, it is, it is my belief from speaking to him and speaking to the people that bring him to and from court that he will, he will reappear. And uh, I would ask the court to lower his bond to at least $5,000. That ensures that, uh, that he will... Uh, he will know that he has to appear, and he's been in jail since October. And certainly it helps the defense to have him here where I can see him in my office rather than have to visit with him at the jail to prepare. Okay. Uh, yeah, help me prepare for court. All right. Uh, based on the uh, statements of counsel that uh, uh, you... <coughs> that you were in communication with him and, and uh, uh, all. Uh, the court at this time uh, will, will set the bond at $10,000 cash or professional bond uh, conditioned upon the defendant, uh, obviously the defendant appearing uh, on, mainly conditioned upon the defendant staying in good communication with his, with his attorney uh, and uh, being ready to appear either on January 7th, as we've already, uh, as it's already set, or on an alternative date, and being available uh, on an alternative date if we can find one between now and the uh, uh, and sometime in in December. Uh, that that would be set for this non-jury trial. I'll have to we'll have to go over my schedule and see what we can fit in. So. Uh, that's that will be the condition of the bond is is that you you stay in touch with your attorney and be available if we can set an earlier date than the January 7th date if if we don't get an earlier date set it you you know now that your jury trial date right now or non jury trial date is set for uh, January 7th if you choose to w withdraw your waiver of uh, of jury trial <laughs> then that will be your your jury trial date, uh, uh, January 7th. All January 7th, right. okay. All right. You may be excused. All right. state of Arkansas versus Ryan Amex. Good morning, Your Good morning. Mr. Amex, have you made arrangements to be represented by an attorney? Uh, I am currently making arrangements to be represented by Sam Pasting. Until that time, um, he has shared his court notes with Mark Cooper um, for this day. I have said notes with me, Judge. Very good. You're for arraignment today on charges of commercial burglary, a Class C felony, theft of property, a separate Class C felony, and criminal trespass, a Class C misdemeanor. Uh, on those charges, how do you now plead? I would like to formally enter my plea as not guilty, Your Honor. Plea of not guilty is noted on the record. Uh, this matter is on the Division uh, 4 docket. We'll be setting it by scheduling order uh, for uh, trial on June 24th, the week of June 24th of 2019, uh, setting it for a, a reappearance uh, on March uh, 21st of 2019. Those are the dates, right. the due dates that will be on the uh, on the scheduling order. Judge Webb, may I speak for just a moment, Your Honor? Yes, sir. 
Um, I currently was making the arrangements to go to rehab prior to uh, um, being accused of these charges. Um, I had already uh, reached out to John 316, uh, Jumpstart Ministries, and Teen Challenge. Unfortunately, I cannot make those arrangements while I'm incarcerated. I'm not asking for a bond reduction. However, I am asking to um, try to resolve the white warrant, figure out if I'm going to be here on a 7 or a 30 or 89-day sentence so that I can move forward from that point. Okay. All right. The, the, uh, you were on parole then? There's a parole yes, hold. Yes, Your, Your Honor. Yeah. Well, the parole hold I have no authority over. That comes out of the Arkansas Department of Corrections, uh, and it's not something that I can remove or adjust or have any effect on. So uh, you'll, have, you'll have to make those arrangements uh, with the Department of Corrections personnel uh, on your parole officer. So. Uh, I, the Very bond well. at this time is set at twenty-five thousand uh, dollars. If those arrangements could be made, is there, would there be a, a possibility for making a bond hearing to reduce my bond if I'm able to get the white warrant lifted before Cer March? Certainly, contact your attorney, and, I, and, and I'll I'll agree to uh, review your situation when that is clear, and we'll we'll take that up at that time. And our Mr. Thanks. Pastings will be here at one thirty, so he can visit with the probation. And parole, and if there's any possibility of that, Ms. Ramix and uh, Sam will address that today. All right, very good. You may be excused, Thank sir. You. Thank you, Your Honor. We have case 2018 270, State of Arkansas versus Michelle Wood. Yeah, Your Honor, the, the status on Ms. Wood, I think I just interrupted Mr. Ethel. He's about to say the same thing I'm going to say, is that she had a, there's an evaluation pending, Your Honor. And it was scheduled for 9-13. There was some confusion. It is now rescheduled for November 21. Uh, so there obviously can be no further action on her case today. She I'm just checking to make sure we we did a pre -in arra plea in arraignment, yes, quite a while ago. Did we not? Yes, Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. Yes, her plea of not guilty was entered on June 28th in front of Judge Putman. Uh, so i just verifying that there was a, a, a formal arraignment. All right. Um, court will, uh, this matter is, of course, uh, down, is already on a scheduling order, uh, but we're not taking any further action until the, we get that evaluation completed and a report back. None of the dates that are set on the scheduling order uh, occur until uh, January 24th of 2019 is the first one for a pretrial hearing. So uh, we'll, we'll await uh, the results of the pending uh, evaluation. That'll be the order of the court. You may be excused. Two thousand eighteen two ninety one, State of Arkansas versus John Schmidt. Good morning, Your Honor. Good morning. And Mr. Schmidt is represented by our office, actually by Mr. Pastings. Apparently, Mr. Schmidt uh, yes, sir. failed. Mr. Schmidt, you failed to appear on July twelfth in front of. Um, on this case, your case is assigned to Judge Putman's docket, uh, and you failed to appear back on July 12th in front of uh, Judge Putman. Yes, sir, I did. I, uh, may I speak? Certainly. You may um, want, I, if, if you're represented by an attorney, you might want to ask your attorney, should you speak, but that, that's up to you. I'm not going to prevent you from speaking. Okay. Um, is my is there a chance I can get to speak with my attorney today? Your Honor, Mr. Pastings will be here this afternoon, but um, I'm not going to obligate him to go to the jail. I, I don't know his schedule. Well, well, either way, Judge, um, I did uh, fail to appear um, on those charges. I left the I left. Um, Fayetteville um, to go with some family. I was 
as you might be able to see in my picture and in my charges, I was not in the best, best of position in life. And I had to get away for a while just to get my head on straight. I've been sober since I left the jail. I just, um, I had to get my head back on to be able to get my son back. I went through a divorce and... Well, you're on you're on Judge Putman's docket uh, on uh, on October fourth. Uh, there's a judge note from Judge Putman that you that you did not appear in court because you were in the county jail. Uh, yes, sir. And the judge then ordered your next appearance to January twenty second, uh, two thousand nineteen, for jury trial. So that's yes, that's that's the status of your case. Uh, I'm this this is Judge Putman's case, and that's his order, and I'm not going to vary it. So uh, um, may I ask for a bond uh, to be able to get out and have some no, proper? No, sir. Uh, no, sir. Stuff. Judge Putman, Judge Putman's in a position to modify that. You need to talk to your attorney, Mr. Pasting, and have him uh, uh, approach Judge Putman about a bond reduction. I'm not going to reduce the bond. Uh, because it's clear from the judge's order, uh, he had the opportunity to see you on October 4th, and his docket entry uh, indicates he just set you for jury trial on January 22nd. Um, you know, it's yeah. fine and good, if, and I hope you benefited from getting your head on straight, but, but the point is uh, you, you don't do yourself any favor by ignoring uh, appearance orders from the court. So. Uh, yes. You you can deal with Judge Putman, uh, you know, uh, on the, on that on the issue of bond and and the situation and the way you deal with Judge Putman is you communicate with your attorney uh, and have that attorney communicate with Judge Putman. So. Yes, sir. You you may be excused. Okay. Thank you. Two thousand eighteen dash uh, four seventy six. State of Arkansas versus Benjamin Craig Matthews. Good morning, Your Honor. Good morning. The court is making the appointment of the Public Defender's Office to represent Mr. Matthews. This is for arraignment uh, on, on charges of terroristic threatening in the first degree of Class D felony, five counts, harassing communication, Class A misdemeanor, five counts, six counts, nine counts make that. And then uh, terroristic threatening in the second degree, a Class A misdemeanor, four counts. On those charges, how does the defendant now plead? Not guilty, Your Honor. Plea of not guilty is noted. This case is on the Division Four docket and will be set for trial uh, by scheduling order the week of June 24th of 2019. Uh, and a reappearance is ordered for March 21st of 2019. Any other matters to be taken up at this time? No, Your Honor. All right. Mr. Matthews you may be excused, but you should go no understanding that uh, by court order that sets the case for trial contains language where I'm ordering you to get in touch and stay in touch with your attorney. Mr. Yes. Cooper's appointed through the Public Defender's Office. He's your attorney. Uh, and you need, it's your obligation to stay in touch with him, not, he has no obligation to come and track you down. He, he will try to, the best of his ability, if you don't show up, but it's your obligation to get in touch and stay in touch with him, and if I find out you're not doing that, uh, you're, you're subject to being held in contempt of court for violation of the order I'm just now giving you and is also in the uh, scheduling order. So make sure you stay in touch with him. Uh, that's all. I'm saying that all in your best interest. I'm not meaning to threaten you. I'm just saying it's in your best interest to be in touch with him. I appreciate that, Your Honor. Fully but, understood. But all right. Thank you very much. Thank I appreciate you. that. Thank you, Your Honor. All right. You may be excused. <laughs>